Good morning. It is uh, 10 a.m. on the button on Sunday, May 1st, 2022. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up more or less. This is five more minutes. So last night's session of Root the Role Playing Game went well, and it's another example of you know, something I've talked about in the past, which is that occasionally, in advance of something that I have planned that I know that I enjoy, I will start feeling like, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure if I've prepared enough. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I ought to cancel for tonight. I don't know. If I'm, am I feeling up to it? I don't know. What should I, you know, maybe I should just leave it. But then if I just do it, it goes great. Um, because those feelings often don't really have anything to do with the reality of the situation, right? They're just things that uh, spin up, you know, like it is, I, you know, I don't even if I know if I necessarily want to call it a misfire, but it's a little bit like something I've talked about in the past where It's going to happen with something you care about. And in some respects, if you can learn to listen to those feelings in a helpful way, which is to say, think about whether or not the concerns being raised are valid. And if they are, then you can do something about it. And if they're not, then you ignore them. And so sometimes, obviously, it's not always crystal clear which is which and you could have some where it's a blurry line but by and large if this if this feeling comes out it's like oh maybe I haven't prepared enough it's like okay well let's think about it what do you have prepared do you think that'll be enough and do you so like for a role-playing game in particular preparing some things is is important but frequently the session's going to go where it goes anyway and it is almost without exception that however much you think you need to prepare for a certain session, they're going to, the party will end up actually getting through like 20% of that. Um, because, you know, it's just like things uh, take up time. And also you have to be, you don't want to be so prepared that you're inflexible when things get changed up. Right. And so just you can think about it in that context instead of saying, oh, no, what if I'm not prepared enough? You can just say, OK, well, what if I'm not prepared enough? What happens? Well, I don't know. Could be a little awkward. You might have some slow spots or spots where you have to think of something in the minute in the moment. But you know what? You have to do that all the time anyway, because it's the nature of the game. The party might do something you don't expect. They might decide to dig instead of zag, and now you have to decide what to do. You can't prepare for everything. You can prepare some things, but it's not a big problem if they want to do something that you didn't prepare in advance, especially in a game like Root. It's even more true than in like Dungeons & Dragons. In Dungeons & Dragons, you can... Uh, you know, you can you can get by, but, you know, the combat is a little bit more tactical and it requires at least some degree of knowing stats and such, uh, unless you want to just wing the whole thing, which is doable. But uh, in any case, I feel like I'm rambling a little bit on this subject, but the point is something that I've always kind of felt was true about stage fright, which is to say if you feel anxiety before you're doing something, it's because you care about it. So try to find a way to use that nervous energy to improve how it goes, right? Like, so if the, if the worry is, what if it doesn't go well? It's like, okay, well, how can I try to make sure it will go as well as it can? But also with the caveat that sometimes you have to just be willing to say, and you know what? Even if it doesn't go well, turns out that's not actually the end of the world. 
like uh, for things like, uh, you know, going to a party or something. He's like, I don't know, you know, wouldn't it be easier to just stay home? And it's like, yeah, well, it would be easier. But if you if you go and it turns out that it's not fun, if that's the worry, it turns out you can leave. But it might actually be fun. And in fact, generally speaking, you probably agreed to the invitation because you do expect to have fun. And then if you actually go, you will. So sometimes those sorts of anxiety feelings are not grounded in reality. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave it there for now. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.